breaking news, fam. It's DJ Wolf Live. Um, if you hadn't already heard, um, what's the word? Have you are if <laughs> anyway? If have you, if you have not already heard, because I'm so frustrated about this bullshit. Bill Cosby has been found guilty, and he could face. Sound for a second. Brace yourself. Thirty years. Now I don't know how many counts. I just heard about it not too long ago. Of course, uh, his asshole in my office was just so happy to tell me about it. You know, and we got into a discussion about who was the bigger perpetrator and why did the majority of women wait all these years. Of course, they say, well, Cosby's case, well, they were afraid to come, come, come talk about it. No, you weren't. See, he don't know. I've been knowing that they've been talking about this shit about Cosby for 25 years now. They started talking about this back in the early 90s. Oh, yeah. This is a known fact. What the hell is all the smoke over here for? Early 90s, they were talking about this shit. Some smoke coming out from somewhere. Somebody's an old car or something. Yeah. But anyhow, uh, we've been talking about it for a while. And... <clears throat> If people were, and this was the thing that, that that bothered me though. Every woman who reported a story about Cosby, they all said the exact same thing. Nothing in the majority of the stories changed. But it was this one story that I heard personally on uh, Dateline, where this woman said she dated him for two years, willingly, had nothing to do with. Him. I said, "Well, why the hell are you here? I thought you was the accuser." She was she, she she didn't mention anything about him violating her based on about she was drugged and all that. Now the, my colleague claims that he heard Cosby actually admit to it. I've never heard him say that anywhere. Cause you know goddamn well if Bill Cosby actually said that publicly and he said it on video, believe me. The fucking mainstream media would have had a white man field day on his ass. Believe that. Trump has said all kind of stuff. He talking about fucking bitches in the pussy openly, up front. Married guy. He said that publicly. Okay, on several on a couple of occasions. He practically sexually sexually harassed a woman verbally on television. That's documented. Okay. Trump has been known to do that kind of stuff for many years out in the straight ass open and yet he's unchallenged. Okay? This dude's been doing all kind of shit out here. Publicly. Openly. Since he's been president. Okay? And yet neither the Democrats or the Republicans openly out front jointly has yet to take tasks to him, okay? They have yet to do it. They have yet to actually try to get him impeached. So, that's another whole story. But, I told somebody that, I said, you know what? This thing about Bill Cosby is not about getting him convicted. Because if people knew he'd been doing it for years, guess what I really think it's about? And what, it, I, obviously, I'm pretty sure it is about. It's about his money. Okay, Bill Cosby about 80, about what, 80, 81 years old. And you know what I was saying about, about uh, your possessions? At some point, you can't take it with you. That's a fact. That's the stark reality. You know, and that's basically what they're waiting on. They, 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 they waiting to get his money. I can, you can bet your bottom dollar. The irony of it is, his wife has been starkly quiet, man. She's been quiet pretty much the whole time. She hadn't said three words. The whole time since this mess went down. She's been real quiet. I mean, quiet as a church mouse. She hasn't said three words. She really hasn't. She hasn't said virtually nothing. That's even scary. And that's his longtime wife. Okay. The bill. But on a serious note, though, man, they were waiting. 
to get Crosby for a long time, man. Now, granted, he's not known for being a saint, okay? I've seen Crosby flirt with women on TV and in film for a long time. I've noticed that as a kid, you know? And to be right up front, the most recent time I saw him flirt with anyone when he was on uh, David Letterman. And guess who he was flirting with? Uh, what's her name? Uh, Sonia Vergara. Her first American television appearance. And guess who was hitting on her? Bill Cosby. Now, that's a fact. I'm not I'm not making this up. I actually saw the video. Um, but, nevertheless, does that mean he's uh, out there doing something? No. That mean he was out there messing around with his wife at the time. I mean, you know, and that was, I think, it was about 2002, 2003, something like that. But nevertheless, there were a number of those women whose uh, accusations were proven to be 100% false. Okay? No real proof of several of those women. Yet, they all come up with the exact same story. All of them. Now, for me personally, I would think at one point you wouldn't actually go for the banana in the tailpipe. Uh, but then it's like, oh, well, we trusted Cosby. Okay, on some respect, I kind of get that. You know, I can understand that you did trust him because you thought you could go ahead and just, you know, take uh, whatever he tell you with, you know, like, hey, it's, 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 it's the gospel because it's Bill Cosby. <clears throat> but <clears throat> I'm not saying that he had cheated on his wife because he did cheat on his wife uh, in 1972 the same year that the hit series Fat Albert and the Cosby Kids came out Bill Cosby actually did have an affair on his wife and the woman that he had an affair with did have a girl by him that's been documented that's what everybody knows that and I think that girl tried to sue him. And I think she did sue him. Um, and this was also uh, when that was that came out. And it also came out around the time. Uh, that his, uh, right around the time his son uh, was murdered. So there's been a lot of mess going on with Cosby, man. Cosby probably in a lot, was in a lot deeper stuff than we know. I'll say that. But you hate to really hear that by a guy like Cosby. Cosby, who was cherished and admired and loved by millions all over the world. This is a guy who gave money uh, to HBCUs for decades. And all of a sudden, he couldn't be have, have an honorary doctorate because of the accusations, not facts. You know? And I'm like, you know, it's, I don't know. It's uh, very bittersweet, man. I hate to hear that. You know, there's nothing in it that that I, I that, that I hate more in this world now than when white people. I mean, the old saying goes, "Well, white people get a cold, we get pneumonia." Well, that's the same thing here. When guys like Trump gets accused of sexually harassing women guys like Bill Cosby get convicted of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Same type of accusations. You know, Trump paid her off, had affairs, all this other stuff. And he gets to do what the fuck he wanted to do. You know, it amazes me how people in this country, certain people in this country can get away with whatever the fuck they want to do. But if your brother and do the same thing, oh, you going you going down? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They were just waiting. No, oh, just wait. You know what's really a shame, though, man. What's truly a shame that it's constantly all the time. Michael Jackson, Michael Jordan, R. Kelly. The list goes on and on. 
they'll find things to get to get get black guys of our you know our brothers and sisters convicted of in a heartbeat. They have no problem with that. That's where other thing that that, that, that pisses me the fuck off. They have no problem. Mm -mm, no problem at all. They have no problem messing with our children on the streets. They have no problem with cops harassing, harassing our kids. No, they have no problem with that. Better not be their kids, though. They don't have no problem with our kids using drugs. Let that be, let that be their kids. They on, they on the war path. They don't have no problem with, with uh, double digit unemployment in our neighborhoods. While some of us have it so bad, they will not only rob them, but they'll rob us too. Let that happen in white neighborhoods. See if they don't nip that in the bud. You get my point? My point is. If it don't affect their bottom line, they ain't worried about yours. No matter what. No matter how bad it is, no matter how hard it is, for you, your loved ones, your children, your grandkids, your babies, whatever, they could care less. You know? And it's really sad. We live in a country called the United States of America, and yet there's people here who pretend like they give a fuck about you and they don't. I mean, I'm being, I'm being serious though. I mean, this is honest conversation. This is honest talk. And it's a shame that, you know, yet it's a double standard here. It's a double standard in this country. That's basically what I'm saying. It's a, oh, come on, God damn. It's a major double standard in this country. And I see it happening all the time now. All the time. It just, it just makes me so so upset. It makes me sad. It really does. It's painful to watch this kind of stuff happen day in and day out. It truly is. It truly is. Because it seems like there's no end to our pain. And suffer. It's no wonder why we <laughs> go to church. You know? I think if we cut out the lack of uh, fellowship, in other words, build it, increase it, and make it genuine. You have a lot more reasons for people wanting to join the church. You have a lot more reasons for people wanting to be there and stand shoulder to shoulder over the border. But I kind of wonder about that too because some of our own people, I think about the butter biscuits too, and about you know trying to uh, take advantage of others. You know, it makes you shake your head. It really does. It makes you shake your head. It makes no sense. makes no sense at all. I try to make sense out of a lot of things going on in life, man. And I don't know, man. It just, it makes me sad at the same time. It really does. Why do these people wait so late to do this? But, I don't know. I, I think what I'm going to do, hopefully when I get a chance, uh, Get another live podcast going. Blog talk. I don't know. I don't know what's going on my blog talk account. All right. All right. It, it seems like it'll, it'll hold uh, a setting for about 30 seconds and just cuts right off. And I pay for it. 
So I'm going to get ass. <sighs> okay. Well, let me try to calm down a little bit. Focus on what I'm doing on the road. Like I'm supposed to. And I'll get back with you guys later on another podcast and get some more information about what happened during this trial. And get the lowdown on the latest of what happened in the future of uh, Mr. William H. Cosby. Because really, this is a sad day in America as far as I'm concerned. For something like this to actually even go down the way it did. And again, I'm pretty sure this was more to do about money than anything else. I'm thinking if these women were seriously trying to get Cosby convicted, he would have been convicted a long time ago. I don't care what anybody say. Y'all got to my old, they were afraid of, don't give me that bullshit. You tell me white women, and some of the white women supposedly are influential, all of a sudden, they scared to t tell on a black man? Really? Really? I don't buy it. I'm sorry, I don't buy it. I don't buy it one bit. Then you even got women who weren't even involved with Cosby to tell you the same bullshit. Fuck out of here. All the same story. Exact same story. Everyone, including the ones who weren't even violated. I don't, I don't believe most of it. They all can't be lying. Well, how you know they ain't lying? They allowed black people for 400 fucking years. About all kinds of shit. This dude, I'm, I'm tell you, I'm, I'm, me and him going to have it. We're going to have a good talk about it. I'm like, do you know they lied on black men for over 400 years about all kinds of stuff? Emmett Till was a kid. And they murdered him based on what some white woman said. Don't tell me they don't fucking do it. Okay? Now that's the kind of shit make my blood boil. Yeah, you're damn right I said it. It makes my blood boil. Because the fact that there are women in this trial, or I won't say necessarily in the trial, who have made actually I'll take that back, who made accusations about Cosby who were never even involved with Cosby that way period okay or weren't even credible witnesses in some cases and like I said before white women have lied on black ass for many years this is nothing new nothing new at all I'm talking about they were afraid to come out get the fuck out of here I don't know what the fuck you talking about they weren't afraid to come out. I, ain't, I, I told the guys, I'm not, I'm not buying that. I'm sorry, I am not buying it. They ain't afraid. They weren't afraid. They was just waiting for the right opportunity to try to get some butter biscuits out of Cosby. That's all this was about. This, I, and, I told, and I said, they told before I left, before I left there, I said, this was about money. This wasn't about no rape. They ain't got a damn thing to do it. If this was about rape, believe me, they would have told on Cosby a long time ago. Somebody would have bought into it. Somebody would have listened. It wasn't about them being afraid. What they going to be afraid of? They weren't afraid of him. Bullshit. Tell that goddamn... What? Mm -mm. Don't get me started, man. Don't get me started. Really. They been lying on black men for 400... For four over 400 decades and shit. Now, all of a sudden, they're telling the truth. These women telling the truth. Get the fuck out of here. I don't believe in them. Just like I can't believe Trump is president. But he is. <laughs> I can't believe that all the women, or most of the women, was telling the truth about Cosby. No, I will not. I don't. Period. End of discussion on that for me. End of discussion. Not saying that it wasn't possible, because anything in life is possible. Anything is possible, period. But I'm saying, based on my, my culture and my culture's history, you think I'm just up and just say, oh yeah, yeah, they ain't lying. Most of them can't be lying. No, I'm not saying none, nothing to that extent, period. I won't. Nope. You got to show me beyond reasonable doubt. And right now, you're just going by his word against hers.
or her word against his rather. That's all I know is hearsay. But I will try to dig up some, some stuff tonight and hopefully I have something for you by the weekend or before the weekend or hopefully by the night or by tomorrow night sometime. But either way, I'm going to try to get, get something, some more information on this and uh, get back to you on this. So stay tuned, guys. This is DJ Wolf. Comments, questions, suggestions about my podcast, video podcast. Hey, let me know. DJ Wolf Live at AOL.com and DJ Wolf Live at gmail.com and DJ Wolf page on Facebook. All right, guys, that's all I got for right now. Oh, one more thing. I'm hoping, I, I, I'm still working. I got in the works. Uh, my DJ Wolf Live uh, music show coming soon. I'm still working on that. I'm, I just, it's, it's a, a mad me going on. Well, I can actually do it. Somebody was suggesting I do it on a friend of mine about a month and a half ago. Suggested that I do do it on like Periscope. I may do it on Periscope. I may do it on both Periscope. And I got another one, uh, Meerkat. I've used Meerkat a long time. I used to do Meerkat all the time anyway. And I have Meerkat fans on there. People follow me on Meerkat. But likely I may end up doing it on, uh, Periscope and uh, YouTube. And may, matter of fact, I might even do a live stream. Who knows? Alright, guys. Well, that's all I got for right now. But stay tuned for that as well. That's coming soon. I don't know a uh, date, but I'm hoping to get it out before the summer. For certain, I'm going to try to get to do something on that uh, Memorial Day weekend. That's when I really love to put it out there. Alright? Because I'll tell you right now, I got, I got the jams and everything. There's a guy uh, I wanted to uh, give him a shout out. Uh, a guy named Everett who, who does it on uh, Twitter. I, I follow him sometimes. Live show. He plays all kind of music, man. Um, he's out from uh, Col- he's out, uh, out out of Colorado. And uh, a friend of mine told me about it. He told me he said, you should do the same thing. And I will be. I will be. Uh, there's a guy I follow. Another guy I follow. Uh, Mario Armstrong. He used to be a tech guy on. Uh, the Today Show, I think he still does it, but I'm not. I, I, I usually I haven't caught him in a long time. He used to have another. She used to have a podcast show somewhere, broadcast show on radio years ago, I think. And I've talked to him a few times. So I, and I, he does it on Fridays. And I, I, I'm gonna have to start by watching. But anyway, I'm gonna do mine too. Mine's coming up soon. I'm, um, I might even do mine in the car. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, and again, uh, this is your boy DJ Wolf, and yes. I may be doing some on-camera uh, things because this summer I want to get my business promoted again. Anyway, I was, I was supposed to be making a call to somebody about an upcoming party. I still haven't done it. It's been almost a week. I lost their number. Damn. So, All right, guys. This is DJ Wolf. Um, that's all I got. I Stay tuned for more information about the Cosby uh, trial and the verdict. It's DJ Wolf. I got a lot more to say about it. I'm out.